I feel I should start off this episode right away and get out in front of this. Oh, okay. If I recall, at near the end of the previous episode, I claim that this episode may give some insight as to my own similarities with Jordy. Mm-hmm. Dan, mm-hmm. don't say that. <laughs> and I'm here to walk back that statement <laughs> immediately. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, did you I not? Did you not, re- did you not I remember? Forgot exact, I forgot the. Oh, I forgot no. the specifics of how it happened oh, and how no. it all. I, 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 need, oh, okay. I need to. Okay. I need to cancel that. Uh, you gotta cancel <laughs> yourself. Okay. Thank God. Everyone, Thank piled God. A dog pile on my Twitter <laughs> handle at uh, Gilmore Girls. <laughs> Add Dan Dank. <laughs> Damn. No, no, you're just Dan Dank. <laughs> Damn actually, Daniel. If, it, if anyone actually cares, it's Cowboy Dan Dank. Ooh. <laughs> just, <laughs> cowboy. Very that's, specific. That's the actual Twitter handle. You can look it up. There's a Pikachu icon on it as of today. You can, you can check it out. I'm, Are you glad, be- I'm really glad you walked back that that comparison because that. <laughs> yeah, I feel, I feel <laughs> a very strong need to say that right away. <laughs> Are you going to be like Flava Flav and eventually legally change your name to Dan Dank? <laughs> yeah, dude, you should do it. Well, it, it, here's the thing. The, the whole Dank thing, like in high school, I, you know, I used to be called Dan Dan by some people. Oh, Dan and Dan. I was like, okay, oh, okay, yeah, like Dan, that's fine. And, you know, my last initial was K. So, mm-hmm. um, for instance, on my badminton team shirt, where we have to put our names on the back, <laughs> I would put down Dan K. There was a space in there, but from far away, you could uh, interpret it as dank. Dang, dang that player's dank. <laughs> and it took me years to realize that there was some perception amongst my peers that perhaps I was high a lot. Oh, because, oh my God. Yeah, that, that's, because of the word I perceived and it. my general demeanor. And I can rest <laughs> and I can assure you all that at the time, no THC had ever entered my body. <laughs> Through your mouth. Yeah, it's uh-huh. most certainly not. Yeah, <laughs> at the time. Wow, that's that. I love that. That's pretty Ooh, great. Wow, damn. we start off this podcast strong with Dan lore. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, let's get into some Jordy lore because this is a pretty Jordy heavy episode. It's booby trap. I no boobies like though in this one. <laughs> oh, yeah, actually none. Well, he, not he, on screen. Not he on wanted screen. to. Yeah, he but... wanted to grab some of that booby trap. <laughs> no boobies and no traps. Probably did later. <laughs> <off screen. laughs> You made the like traps a, I was looking for. He made like a harp ladies version of Leah Brahms. Took it into yeah. his room. I feel like Brahm. this episode was like maybe you know his character was just like, look, I need one. It's in his contract. I need one episode where I'm like the main character, <laughs> and I have like all of the dialogue. And um, yeah, but but all unfortunately, the story. If it, it feels like his performance is really weird in the episode, he's it, like it's like very broad and like kind of like. Yeah. Oh yeah! If you do that, no, it's it's not that's, great. That's what will happen. Oh man, yeah. And you're like, Ooh. well, this is kind of <laughs> how I know Jordy to be because I only watched up through like mid season three. Oh, okay. So, so I don't is, know exactly yeah. where how his like trajectory goes in terms of his acting and demeanor. Like, no, that's, that's forward, it. You're but... right. This is how he normally is. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, then, there we go. Um, yeah. Then, yeah. Well, well this I. Is... Uh, so, what's the what's the doctor's name? Something um, Le- Leia Brahms. Brahms, right? Okay, so yeah. Leo Brahma. So all I can think <laughs> of was I, I saw a movie. This must have been right before quarantine last year. It was called The Boy. It's called Brahms. The Boy Two. Well, oh wait, um, is this the one about like the the doll? Yes. Okay. This okay. was a sequel, <laughs> and it's called uh, Brahms. <laughs> Brahms the Boy Two. Uh, okay. It was a sequel, and that's all I can think of. Uh, every Is time it? I saw her, her, the name Brahms, I was like Brahms the Boy Two. Uh, Brahms like a candy company. Don't they make like gummies and shit? Yeah. They also make so. uh, diabolical, diabolical uh, <laughs> puppets. Uh, also, uh, the Rock is the Brahma Bull. Yeah, so. the Brahms. <laughs> the boy. Yeah, it's it's the, all a rich the boy tapestry. Bull. It's a it's a rich tapestry. And The Rock was once in an episode of Star Trek. No. So what? Really? Yeah, you we'll we'll get it's not I in this w- series. It's it's in Voyager. 
was uh, did, yeah, did so we, stay tuned for what he's cooking? two years from now <laughs> i think he i think he actually does his signature like, like like eyebrow raise i think he even asks if you know what i'm cooking oh, oh god. my god <laughs> Really, and, and he's That's just awesome. a rock. Like, like he That's literally like a Scooby Doo level of cameo. Yeah, he, he, I mean, he's he's like not called the Rock in the episode. I <laughs> wish he <laughs> was. And, uh, I wish he was. Yeah, they were like the Rock. What should we do? But he's or, essentially. I, a want, I want the entire crew of whatever show it is to be like Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> oh, the legendary <laughs> warrior. <laughs> 20th century warrior Dwayne the Rock Johnson (laughs) the funny part is like he is like a basically a fighting wrestler in that episode and he spends the whole episode just beating up a woman oh (laughs) that's the the whole whole episode episode, huh basically every time he shows up from frame one punch (laughs) (laughs) so you're like oh this is weird Uh, but that's what that was I think that's the rocks like TV day TV like uh, scripted show debut. I mean, what? Wow. arguably wrestling scripted. Yes, so, yes I don't it know. is. Mm. No, it's real. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, anyway, bo- booby trap. There's several types of booby traps going on in this episode. This episode. Wait, how does Picard says it's super weird once in the episode, and I tried. He to says bobby it. traps. Bobby <laughs> traps. <laughs> yeah, Sarah pointed out too. She and was, I was like, just oh. like, why did he say it that way? That was just so weird. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, I need a time code of when that happens because I want to hear that. Yeah, he's, I, he's, like, I picked up on. He's it. like a, a man of my stature cannot say booby. I must say Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's See, Ricardo funky. found it. It was yeah. like weird. It like yeah. threw me off. Like I was like a yabo what? trap. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we should say. We should say. Um, before we move into the episode, we should say that we did go to the. If you're in California, spe- specifically mm. in LA. Yes. You should check out the uh, the Star Trek exhibit at the Skirball yeah. Center. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's specifically specifically called Star Trek Exploring New Worlds at the Skirball Cultural Center in Los Angeles, and it's pretty cool. It's not like an amazingly huge exhibit. Is um, there an admission fee? No, yeah, yeah. So um, I, Ricardo managed to get us free tickets because he's got hookups. No, because uh, we're the Star Trek podcast. That's how we got in, okay? Uh, sh- <laughs> yes, that's why. That's, that's why we got in. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, but but it's, it's cheap. It's like 18 bucks a person uh, if you wanted to, to just check yeah, it out. It was a fun field trip. Yeah, it's just like so a lot. How- if you're like, you just want to like immerse yourself in like, ooh, Star Trek things. And, you, and they're like the actual props from the shows. Like the most impressive thing to me was they had the full scale model Enterprise D they do they do for their their shots in the show. Oh really? Yeah, it was really cool. Um, it looks like shit up close. Nice. <laughs> so like the, they did a really good job shooting it in the show. That means so cool. Yeah, yeah it, it was, was. It was. I didn't really get to fun. go with you guys. Uh, yeah, yeah. Dan was busy, but for those at home, so. he was watching Brahms the boy too. I had to live vicariously. <laughs> yeah, Dan was adulting. <laughs> I had to, yeah, I had to adult just a little bit. Somebody's got to keep the lights on here, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody Dan, does. Dan was holding onto this crank and just went, oh, yeah, the he lights. Was cr- yeah. He was, him and, and Jason <laughs> saved them no, in we, common. <laughs> I mean, you know, we've upgraded a little bit. Now it's like an exercise bike. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. not a crank anymore. <laughs> now you get yeah, to run. I, I can actually use my hands now. <laughs> well, okay, booby trap. This aired the day before Halloween, October Ooh. 30th, 1989. It's not a particularly spooky episode, but it's creepy, I guess. Uh, it's, <laughs> well, it's definitely that's, creepy that, in a lot of other ways. That is a great introduction to Around the Sun, which contains nothing spooky in it. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's go, Dan. Let's go Around the Sun. Whoa. Okay, so it's going to be very, very short because I actually couldn't find much at all. Oh. On October 27th, and this is just... This is just something I found that kind of gives an idea of like what was going on in the era. Mm-hmm. Um, Dragon Ball 3, a third Dragon Ball game based on the original Dragon Ball, not Z, was mm. released in Japan on the Famicom and told the story of only non-Z Dragon Ball following young Goku up until the fight un- against Piccolo Jr. But I, okay. I just found it notable because it was the last game to adapt the OG Dragon Ball story like ever. And then, Since until, then, they've never made another one that well, adapted OG Dragon Ball. Well, because Z exploded. I know, then, but it's like weird that they compl- just never bothered. It, it's so funny because because he called it Dragon Ball Z because he wanted this to be the last series. He was like, I'm never doing Dragon Ball ever again after this. 
Well, too bad. You made it too compelling. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> and now what a stupid mistake you made. You ruined your idiot. life. <laughs> really fucked up. <laughs> also on the same date, actor John Goodman got married to his wife Annabeth Hartzog, and they're still together today. I wow. love John Goodman. Yeah, He's not a, canceled, right? Daughter. He's good, right? No, yeah, John Goodman's as cool. As far as okay. I know, I mean, he had some p- d- personal troubles with alcoholism, but you know, who that's doesn't? Not, that's not enough to get canceled. That's fine. No, 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 no. I was just <laughs> yeah. hoping there wasn't like a Me Too Thing no, as, as far as I understand, John Goodman's actually a really, really he's a good cool man. guy. Yeah, he's yeah. a good man. Unless, unless he killed, it. <laughs> unless he was drunk and because he was when he was having substance abuse problems, he killed a dodo bird. Then, then yeah, <laughs> he was like, "This mm. dodo birds." Did you know dodo birds went extinct because they were tasty? I, 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 I think I remember hearing that. <laughs> like people wanted to eat them. That's oh wait, or, or wait a minute. I think at some point I might have thought the same of puffins, but puffins are still around. Puffins are still around, yeah. But dodo birds, the problem was that they were one tasty and two they were so friendly like when they first saw humans they approached them and just started like hanging out and yeah, that's why yeah. they died. Humans are no really concept the worst. Of, of a threat from humans and yeah they were just like you guys are cool right is that right? like capybaras temp- is that like capybaras where like you know people eat, I mean, capybara people, people eat capybara yeah, yeah. They're technically seafood <gasps> yeah oh <my laughs> yeah according God. to the catholic church they qualify as seafood so. Oh, can you imagine? I can't imagine eating one of those sweet yeah. sweet animals. Capybaras are the only animal in nature that will, without question, accept any infant of any other species as its own and adopt it. I'll even bet a, it hasn't even been a extensively human. tested. <laughs> a human yeah, infant. It, what would it, it may do not do it with like a tadpole, <laughs> probably. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or like a, a, a larva. <laughs> or like an amoeba of like COVID or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Yeah. All right, last bit. Um, just to give an idea of what was still happening, look who's talking with still on top of the box office for the third week in a row. Damn, damn. It was a popular ass movie. It's not good even done. Damn. Good, good job, Die Hard. That's crazy. Yeah, good <laughs> job, Die Hard and, and Tooth Fairy. <laughs> uh, very good. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Dan. Well, You're welcome. You know We're who back. else we should thank? We should thank our sponsor, ExpressVPN. Because you know what? Thank you. <laughs> That's it. We're just, we're just there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ExpressVPN has been a sponsor of Newbie Star Trek for a bit. And you know what? They're they're cool. You know why? Because they're one of the most secure VPNs in the world. Even when the Turkish government tried to take them down and raid one of their servers, try to catch somebody, they raided their servers and they found nothing. Yep. Because that server ran on RAM, which means the moment it turned off, all that shit disappeared. Woo-hoo. You can't randomly access this. Yeah, bitch. You <laughs> jerkish government. <laughs> I really wanted to believe that when you said they got raided, they had a bunch of like, like it's like the movies where there's just a bunch of gunfire and people with like, <laughs> yeah. you know, protecting. It, and it, it was just, just like the movie The Raid. Big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking yeah. of that gif of like all the... That usually comes after FBI open up and mm-hmm. they burst through the door exactly. and they come down from the ceiling and yeah, and then Captain there's America just like- narrowly escapes. Yeah, <laughs> they 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 put it they put Jiffy in all the drives so they can't read them. Yeah, so or they start putting. Uh, we've been watching a lot of Blacklist. They start putting the hard drives in the microwaves. Yeah. Oh yeah, because that's a real <laughs> thing. That's actually a thing. <laughs> Yeah, like like, well, it, it, like oh my god, FBI put the put the hard drives in the microwave. What well, doesn't <laughs> doesn't doesn't it cause like a like a tornado oh, yeah. effect? Huge, huge sparks. <laughs> oh, yeah, it sends a drive back in time. So back you, in time, you, like, can't and, crap yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, but you can't it. have any clothes on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it tries to fuck your friend's mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a hard drive now. Uh, <laughs> I'm part hard drive. Uh, but, yeah. Kyle Reese both. He's a he's a oddity because he's both best friend. He's like he's like he's like his son's best friend, but also a deadbeat dad at the same time. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of odd. Yeah. To be fair, he was killed. I mean, look, <laughs> took a don't while, defend though. him, dude. Don't defend him. Dude. He's a piece of shit, dude. Kyle uh, Reese is the weird one. He was like, "Do you want to fuck my mom in the past?" You know. You mean you mean John Connor? Oh yeah, John Connor. Yeah, John Connor is the weird one. Where yeah, he, yeah. he's like, you want to, you want to fuck my mom? And he knew. No, more he like knew you have happen. to fuck my mom. Go back in the past and fuck my mom right <laughs> you now. Must fuck my mom, <laughs> or else I cease to exist. You know what? It's self preservation. I can't. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's true. And you know what? He's just if closing you, the loop. If you want top tier, 
internet VPN security, you must get ExpressVPN. No, you don't have to get ExpressVPN. But if you'd like ExpressVPN, yeah. you can go to expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek. And there, if you sign up for 12 months, you'll get an extra three months for free, which means the whole package is only $6.67 a month. That's a pretty freaking good deal. Awesome that's a, deal. It's a 49% savings. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot of savings. So again, that's expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek. Thanks. Yay. Thanks, ExpressVPN. Thank you. ExpressVPN. You come up with a jingle. Save my life. <laughs> um, I thought you were going to go into the farmersonly.com jingle. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. How does it go? No, no. Like, farmers only is a dating site, lonely. isn't it? Oh, yeah, farmersonly.com. Farmersonly.com. <laughs> Um, <laughs> my kid now recognizes commercials because he'll watch YouTube and there's commercials mm-hmm. on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Uh, and sometimes we'll play. We'll, it's so we'll, nice we'll, that kids still get to experience commercials yeah. these days. Well, well especially with <laughs> like so nice. on, on Sundays with football because we have to sometimes play over the air stuff. Mm-hmm. And so he'll be like, Oh, O'Reilly. <laughs> <laughs> no! yeah. no! That's pretty funny. Yeah. You know, so, okay. So, so Sarah and I graduated from CalArts, mm-hmm. and in CalArts, when you graduate, you get to choose a six-second song snippet yes. as your uh, custom. Yeah, true. That's probably the coolest thing about CalArts I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not it's it's not bad, and they actually like have it down to a science. Like it's it's like a good workflow, and they do it really quickly. But someone's on stage when they graduate. <laughs> Was the O'Reilly thing? Yes, really? it was. <laughs> yeah. oh, it was oh, so oh, good, yeah, it was and it was great. so yeah. random. Everyone yeah. was like, "What?" Everyone like, was like, "Yes." Was I anyone? Know that. Yeah, man, th- that should only like set off a whole generation that just goes like one guy goes up and it's like dashers, dashers. <laughs> <laughs> what was uh, your? I don't remember mine. On honestly, I don't think I did one. Oh, you didn't. I d- no, I, no, I think I just was like, I. No, can't you, I pick. think you did. I think you did. did. I? What I did know. you do? It was like Nine Inch uh, Nails or something? Marvin did oh, the Undertaker maybe. music. <laughs> <laughs> it was something by Trent uh, Reznor. Oh, yeah, maybe it was. I don't remember. Uh, I must have I, I did it a, out. I, I did a Tower, Tower Power. Power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you? Oh, my yeah. gosh. Yeah, you're still a young man. I did that. I don't even really remember the moment of graduating. Like, I, I, I really don't. Like, I, I was have, terrified like, of graduation because. Because Cal Arts is a fucking hippy dippy campus, and the graduation is hippy dippy and crazy. True. And yeah, parents, ours was a spaceship theme. Right? Yeah. Was there, you, no, no, you, no. You, you, was no, there a you, spaceship? No, yeah. You graduate out of a spaceship. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, my parents are like, they're they're like, you know, kind of conservative Koreans. So I was like, uh, are they going to be okay? Here? Yeah. <laughs> and like some t- somewhere mid midway through the ceremony, oh, like some students protest. had a protest of the oh, yes! faculty. Oh yes. man, yeah, they protested the they president, did, they the fucking corrupt the ass president. Yes, that's Stephen right. Levine. That yeah. happened. Yeah. Yes, I remember. Guess that. who's gone? <laughs> Yeah, he's uh, he now. actually retired the year later. Wow, because oh, wow. of all the protest, because he, he was damn corruption, a money grubbing piece of shit. To be yeah. fair, a lot of Cal Arts is a money grubbing pieces of shits. Yeah, so oh, well, mm-hmm. the world is. <laughs> um, but yeah. yeah, yeah, but you know who wasn't a money grubbing piece of shit? Ricardo, Maybe. could Maybe. you please tell us what happened <laughs> in this episode? We don't know. Um, it might have been in her youth. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so. This is an interesting episode because it started off and I was really into it, and I quickly hated this episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, what in the beginning were you into exactly? The, the Jordy stuff. I the was like, lovely oh, beach okay. scene? Okay, okay. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I think it's pretty clear from the first two seconds that she's very uncomfortable. Okay, why is well, the violinist the fucking pirate? Are <laughs> ye be in the Caribbean? I don't know. <laughs> but he called it a gypsy later, just kind of racist. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, he's <laughs> That's like not okay. Like the Romani don't wear eye patches and shit. Like I don't know what's going. Yeah, on. Yeah, he does look like a pirate. Yeah. <laughs> so a immediately pirate. the the well, you right. You can't tell right away that she's not into it. She's they're just looking at the sunset. And, uh, no, she. You look at her face. Okay, she looks I very am, uncomfortable. I am, I am a woman, yeah. and I can tell you right <laughs> away in the first two seconds she looks unbelievably uncomfortable she was right tense <laughs> it's good acting and she's like looking to the side she's like yeah oh god like okay. rolling her eyes okay here's okay. the thing here's the thing here's the thing okay well, as soon as this went sideways 
or as I call it, tits up. Um, <laughs> why didn't he go? Oh, that's fine. That's fine. No worries. Uh, well, see you later. You know, thanks for coming out though. And then she leaves. And then weird. And, and then he. And then he <laughs> replicates her. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh no! Oh, boy, am I glad it didn't go straight to that. Because <laughs> it very easily could have if it you just have, said so. Like, you know what? Okay. He's like, yeah. I mean, oh, boy. He's like, he's yeah, like I mean, here's a question for everybody. very uncomfortable. I got a question for everybody. Mm-hmm. Would this scene be better or worse if this lady was Sonia? <sighs> I, that's, a, that's one of the thoughts I had where it's like, it feels like a missed opportunity to not use Sonia. Who, who's, who's, who's the fuck yeah, is Sonia? Whenever, like, who's Sonia? Yeah, it's... Remember uh, that girl, the underling, who was like uncomfortable, oh, and she's like, "Oh, I don't know what to do." And she do, uh, spilled coffee on Picard. And Picard the Total Recall, the Total Recall, three, yeah, Total three Recall, lady. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, but she would have been in. She would. She's totally into Jordy. She's well, it's in, not. It's not one hundred percent clear. She well, at least likes Jordy clear. as a friend. Yeah. She's a, she's into anything. You know, she's into <laughs> like fuck it, dude. We we got medicine for everything. Let's let's party. <laughs> um. I think well, okay. Let's get into it. So this this girl clearly is very not into this, mm-hmm. and Jordy's like, "Hey, I got coconuts filled with booze," <laughs> and then she's like, "Eh." Yeah, know. it's implied that he's just trying to really get her drunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, "Do you want another one?" Yeah, <laughs> and <laughs> I mean, he's he's pounding them. They're all over. They're yeah. all next to him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's got like. Four coconuts, dude. Yeah, which is sizes. another another clue here. I think. I think they did a really good job yeah. laying out the clues of like who's into it and who's not. Yeah. You know. Yeah. They, yeah, they they did do a good job. And then um, what's really cool is that immediately I'm watching this and I'm like, oh my god, I know this lady. She's uh she's Tommy Boy's gr- uh, girlfriend. Um, she, she's what? a girl who played. Um, she was in Tommy Boy. She played. Oh, like, okay. I haven't seen the, Tommy Boy. She. Oh my god, dude! You gotta, you gotta get on that, dude. <laughs> um, newbie Tommy Boy. Um, <laughs> yes. She uh, plays the finance lady who eventually becomes a love interest to Tommy Boy. Oh, okay. Um, I've eaten at Tommy's. No, uh, I don't know if that, that helps. So, yeah, that mm. means you've gotten the run. Oh, he's so <laughs> he's, he's so cringy. He like moves yeah. closer to yeah. her and puts his. Oh my god. That's that's the. I mean, like. This is the thing. He's doing like the classic, like, oh, put my arm around you. But like, you're not at like a scenario where like. No, we're not in the movie theater. We're not <laughs> yeah, in the movie theater, you know? Yeah. yeah. No, but like he's moving close. Like he visibly moves closer yeah. to her. Like yeah, gets up. You know what? I don't like, like pirate violinist there. Like gets like he just starts mugging in all over him for yeah, no it's... reason. I don't know why, but it was <laughs> well, probably programmed that way because later on, Wes is like, he spent months programming like that yeah, thing. Yeah. And it's like, Jesus, that took months. Yeah. Forty. <laughs> I, I don't know why, you, man. Why didn't he just make it like if it's gonna be private? Like hypothetically, let's say it went th- it went good for him, and like mm-hmm. she was into him. Why couldn't he have done robots? That way, it's not awkward. And, and he and the or the music not just comes from the the environment. Yeah, magically. Yeah. You know, He's a, everything's the- gotta be real, dude. <laughs> well, I think he wanted to have like you know. A, a violinist, a pirate out violinist. There. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. He designed the yeah. outfit it has to be yeah. pirate violinist. We, we need a criminal nearby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, and clearly I don't know. she's not into it. She's like, no. "Hey, I'm not into this. I'm not into you. Not not that way." And you know what? We'll, we'll get to it, but I don't like how he takes it. I don't either. Yeah. I don't either. I feel like this no. a, this hasn't aged well. No, 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 no not. not a lot of Star Trek, especially <laughs> interactions in like relationships and with women. Definitely haven't aged well. They are of their time. The, Star but Trek I mean, is a show that was progressive for its time. Yeah, it, but it I mean, you know. I mean, I feel like I mean, I I'm, I'm only speaking for myself, but like not not until now have I been aware of of, of things that that creep people like women out. That you know mm-hmm. that I was like, oh yeah, like that's right. Like if I was a, a a woman walking, you know, late at night, everything would creep me out. You know, like mm-hmm. I get it. Like like as if it should. A, if a dude is walking like down, he could be the nicest looking dude, but it's still creepy. Like there's a lot of things that I didn't like. It's not until someone points it out, and I'm like, oh fuck, that makes all fucking sense. How did I not like? Sure. How did I not have the hindsight to look at that? But but anyway, this episode. Is well, it's just that. it's just it's just viewpoint, you know. Like, yeah, it, it, yeah, it, it, yeah. And like sometimes you just. I think I think also his reaction too is like when she says like I'm not 
into you like mm-hmm. like that. He kind of like yeah. moves away and he's like, yeah, yeah. And then he like yells at the pirate guy. He's like, you <laughs> fuck, you fuck this up. He's like, I told you not to wear or whatever, that. you know, yeah. like, it's just like, why is he? Yeah, he takes it he angrily angry, when you, you know? should really just be like, oh, okay. I mean, yeah, it's fine. You want to go home? We're, Let's go yeah. home. You know, or like, like you know, yeah. thanks for telling me and being honest with me and yeah. like, don't, don't be weird about it. Don't be I'd been, angry. I would have been like, you know what? I'd like to enjoy this beach by myself. Do you mind if I stay here and you leave? <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then and then I would have beat the shit out of the violinist. He's like, you fucked up the song, you piece of shit. No, he um, just commands the violinist, come out here yeah. and make out with me right now. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, put that violin down. I, I put on lip gloss and everything. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I, wanted I wore to be- my vest my best visor. Um <laughs> computer be- run lip gloss.exe. <laughs> yeah. That would be great if Jordy did have like Visors for different occasions. Yeah, like, like one is like that a party really, visor. No, that would be know? cute. Yeah, <laughs> that would be great. Yeah. Like one's for like a dinner party. You know, so the one he had yeah, like the sea nudity the dress visor. Visor. <laughs> See nudity. And he's like, yeah. God damn it! I use the warm flesh and visor it, for nothing. And then the incognito <laughs> visor that just looks like a pair of eyes, like <laughs> pasted onto the ends of the front of the visor. Yeah. That's nothing so to see right. here. Jordy's paying a lot of attention to this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, oh so Jordy, the next you scene, haven't blinked in like three hours. Are you okay? <laughs> and then he has a visor that just Stitchery. looks like giant, giant fucking like Oakleys. He looks like like, like he looks like. Uh, no, if they're Oakleys, he has to wear his visor behind his head. <laughs> uh, uh, so he has to make sure he's he's to. Like get used to being blind just so you can do <laughs> the style of it being behind his head. You know what oh I just realized? <laughs> that that I wonder if him and uh Vin Diesel's character, Riddick, you know, mm, if they mm. would be friends. Because they're like, dude, you have an eye thing too? Me too. And then but Riddick <laughs> would be like, I paid for my for these babies. Um <laughs> But anyway, so the next scene is Data and and of course stupid as Wesley, and they're playing um is it chess? What are they playing? It's, it's like five D chess. Okay, mm-hmm. or something, <laughs> which is stupid. Like just play yeah, regular think, chess. I think the actual t- term is called three dimensional chess, which is oh, yeah. It's just yeah. they only added a z axis. Yeah, <laughs> that only tiers. has three tiers. Yeah, and I, I I just noticed this watching it while or while while it's playing in the background is that um what's his face not not Wesley Wesley's uniform is mm-hmm. like not zipped up all the way like it's open in the back in the pants. Mm. It's Uh-oh. like it's weird like. <laughs> like they're like they're like in action and he's like oh my god my pants and he's uh, he's like i'm just oh, doing, yeah, I'm yeah, doing yeah. a scene like this no, I, I, I noticed it a bunch of times in earlier episodes it's just like uh, i guess Maybe that's how, how it is. designed yeah yeah <laughs> and so basically it's like a prank they're playing on him yeah <laughs> so <laughs> they're like inverted so, coattails <laughs> yeah so they're uh they're playing uh 3d chess and they're talking about how the background there's a bunch of like asteroids and stuff but you're flying rocks i guess not asteroids because they're are they going really fast and we're just seeing them slow or are they just kind of um i think it's just a like a, a patch of i the think rocks, they're asteroids right? yeah like i, I think, think they're asteroids just drifting can, through them like yeah they're slowly. orbiting oh, okay yeah, yeah. like kind of and uh, super wesley is like oh you know like this is like basically a battlefield uh mm-hmm. of of this weird war that we're no one want and stuff and it is like yes it is and uh, <laughs> He, they see, um, they see Jordy show up, and well, he's already there actually, and he's drinking, and he's he's got one drink there, and it looks like I think when they go to the close up, it looks like he's he's already drank one, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so he's like two or three drinks in, not counting the ones that probably they got cleaned up. He's right? sloshed, yeah, he's sloshed, yeah, and he's trying to kind of talk to this other lady, kind of. He's just staring at her. He's not really talking to her. It's really weird. Mm. Um. And then data gets called uh, to the to the bridge, and immediately yeah, I think this. I think because a few scenes later, Jordy Jordy gets called into the bridge, mm-hmm. and I'm like, he gets called in, and he's doing like these crazy. No, he doesn't get called a bridge. He gets called into engineering. Sorry to mm-hmm. to deal with what's going on, but he's fucking shit faced, dude. <laughs> he's working, and all these people's lives, yeah, <laughs> are in his hand, and he's fucking drunk as shit, dude. I think in the world of Star Trek, like everything's synthahol. So it's not like real alcohol. So yeah, I'm still I, not dude, clear what synthahol does to you. I think does it, it get you, you drunk or does it get you synth drunk? 
<laughs> yeah, like what is what is the point of that? I'm not a hundred percent sure. Or, or I think- is it or is it that you're you could be really drunk, but then like you hit a button like an app on your phone, and then you're not drunk anymore. I, no, you maybe. don't you don't get hung over. I don't know the exact like the way it works. I, I know that like the, the problem with synthahol is that like people who come from like a different century, they'll just be like, oh, like, you know, you don't this this shit's not getting me drunk. So I'm not sure if it's like weaker or it just like leaves the body or super fast or hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah. It's not Irish grade. <laughs> yeah, no, the, no, the no, Irish no. were yeah. were, um, were not happy with it. So, yeah. also, okay, so minor so, correction, I said earlier that Jordy spent months on that program. It was just days. Still, 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 more, more, than, still more than ten minutes is too much to spend on that piece of shit. Fucking <laughs> yeah, vision. it's like when I go to like Super Mario Maker and put down like a few blocks. Like, uh, okay, let's see how this goes. Also, I just looked yeah. up synthahol, and apparently. The main difference is that it's a, it's supposed to have the same taste and smell as real alcohol, but none of the deleterious effects associated with alcohol for most humanoids, such as debilitating intoxication, addiction. So it's fucking Odules? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah. It's like, it's like, it's like weak. Sit the hall is Odules. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Basically. Oh, no. That's, that's not worth it. You, I think, I think you get buzzed, but you I don't think you get, get like drunk. shit-faced. Yeah. Yeah. I, th- um, I think it gets you buzzed. Yeah. I feel that's a liberal interpretation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Generous. Um, so uh, the first storyline is very uninteresting, which is a booby trap storyline. So yeah, with a trap, yeah. let's get through it because I want to talk about Jordy and his fucking. <laughs> that's the that's the core of the show, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The booby so, trap is just like a metaphor. Yeah, yeah. So the booby trap is they they find this spaceship in this battlefield that is intact and it's like pristine and people have been dead for hundreds of years. I There's guess. mummies on them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Skeletons. Picard's like, ha ah, ah, ha, cool. It doesn't seem to phase <laughs> Yeah, anybody. we got some Indiana Jones props in the seat. He literally says, yeah. this belongs in a museum. He does, yes. he does. He <laughs> does. That's great. <laughs> this belongs in a museum. So and do so, you. <laughs> so um, they discover the ship, and the first thing that Picard thinks is, hmm, it's interesting that like it's still pristine. It, it was in a battle, clearly, because this was where the battle was, but Nothing, it's it's still intact. Hmm. Nothing suspicious about that. Nothing suspicious about that. Let me go over there and check myself. Because I like sign, the, I like whole, I like history. The captain of the ship. Yep. And Riker's like, hey, don't no do risk. that. It's like, but ship's in a bottle. Yeah. <laughs> I like ships. Ships in a bottle. Yeah. Have you, has anybody played with a ship in a bottle? And it's all like. As uh, a boy? Yeah. And we, everyone's we, like, no. Yeah, that's Miles. a very unreasonable question to ask in the 24th fucking century. Yeah. 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 But fucking Miles O'Brien, he's, he wants a promotion. So he's like, <laughs> Wait, I, I have, sir. Oh, yeah. I yeah, definitely yeah. played with I mean, Can I ask you a question? Bottles. Have you guys played with a ship no. in a bottle? You don't, you don't <laughs> or, play with them. You make them. Do you, you make, make them? One? Yeah, yeah, but even then, okay. Like, but who I, here I has how, made one? I've I mean, never. I no. built a model exactly. Gundam once. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the really low oh, level man. ones. That would have been amazing if Picard's metaphor was actually like Gundam models. Have anyone yeah. <laughs> made <it>? Gunpla? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you people know about Gunpla? <laughs> the painting uh, and the details you mark on, and after you put it together. Dan would be like, me, me, me. Yeah. I have an RX-78. Perfect grade. Uh, also, like, he, he could, they could have just said IKEA furniture. If you would have got it, yeah? Like, yeah. Is, anybody here exactly. built IKEA furniture? Yeah, it's like, yeah. exactly. It's like, no, yeah. we, we replicate everything. Why would we make anything? <laughs> well, it was a beautiful store, and they had meatballs. Um, so, so uh, anyway, uh, the car's like, I'm fucking in. I'm going. I don't give a shit, dude. And and so Data, Worf, and him go. And he's like, oh, he's he's like, oh, this is a beautiful ship. It belongs in a museum. Oh, look at these people. They died. And then they kind of get a transmission. <laughs> and I'm, I'm going out of work because I want to get rid of this story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bullshit yeah, yeah. fucking storyline. <laughs> um, and then uh, basically, the basic the boot trap is that they set off this trap that basically lowers their shields, right? And then it, it it like cranks up the radiation, right? It's like sucking up energy away from the ship. Yeah. yeah. So it feeds once on energy the ship- from the ship and then like proportional it to into- how much it's kicking out. So, yeah, right. yeah. And once that shield is down, uh, because it's also spewing out tons of lethal radiation, it'll yeah. kill everyone. It stews yeah. you in your own juices. Yeah. Yeah. 
which could be delicious. So uh, is it like the more energy you use to try to like escape it? The it's more like it's like finger cuffs. Like yeah, yeah I, finger I was cuffs surprised they didn't, they didn't use that analogy. Quicksand like, doesn't exist, dude. I've been searching <laughs> for it for forty years. No, wait, <laughs> quicksand is real, isn't no, it? No. No, well, it's, what are you talking about? Not really? Hollywood style quicksand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't work the same way as it does in Hollywood. But quicksand, quicksand's a real concept. Yeah, I mean, is, hypothetically, it's, it's a real concept, but it's easy to get out. You just kind of you don't people, fight it. You don't fight people, it. Yeah, people kind of, don't actually get stuck in quicksand. Yeah. What it, what it happens is like vehicles get fucked up, and yeah. like they're kind of. I like think you could stuck. get stuck in quicksand. Actually. As a person, it's as actually a, quite as easy a cartoon, to get out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so as how an Indiana you Jones, out? yeah, <laughs> you, you just be, slowly do it. You are a super it's, Mario. It's, it's basically suction that's keeping oh, okay. you in. So basically, instead of like pulling, you, you just slowly like pull your hand out, and, it, and it's uh, fine. You just have to move at, to know. A, I will at a live snail's pace. Next time yeah. I come into contact, <laughs> next time you're you're exploring in the <laughs> desert. <laughs> yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, basically the booby trap is set, it goes off, and they have to figure out how to get out of it, and the person who has to figure that out is the guy who's the drunkest, which is Jordy. <laughs> and Picard is not sorry at all. No, no. He just goes, no. oh, we're, we're we trapped. must have activated some sort of ancient booby trap. Yeah. And then Bobby he's trap. like, okay, now everyone <laughs> fix the mistake I've made. Bobby yeah. trap. Yeah. <laughs> at the end, yeah. At the end yeah. he's, like, he's like, I want to drive. <laughs> he has a bit of that characteristic just dumping on engineering in yeah. this episode. It's like, just yeah. do it. Give me your best yeah. answer in an hour. Fuck off. Yeah. 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 Um, so um what we do have though is cool scenes. Um I'll go back to, to Jordy's problem. Is so he's drinking at the bar and <sighs> Kaylin, Galen, Galen, Galen shows up and No, yeah. that's not her name. Wait. Guinan? Guinan. <laughs> you know I was close enough. I was close oh, enough. Oh, I got you gotta, it. I got it. I, s- I stumbled. Okay. I was like, I don't know if that's her name. <laughs> well, okay. Okay. I'm glad we clarified that because I thought Ricard was just doing a bit. <laughs> Is it, what did I say? You said, you said, you said, you said uh, Galen. Said Galen. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's, it's Guinan? Guinan? Guinan. Gainan. 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 Um, think so, oh, think like a kaiju. So I'm going to call her the bartender. So the bartender... Um, <laughs> Uh, says You're not um, wrong. <laughs> yes, she's like she's like, hey, what's up, dude? And then he's he, Jordy's like, you know, what do you want in a man? And I I, I hate this conversation already. Okay, like, okay. Oh, boy. So Sarah, I have a question. I have a question for you. You're a woman, right? Yeah. What is it that you want in a man? Ah, oh, wow. Thank you for that question. <laughs> I am a woman. Yes. Um, <laughs> what do I want in a man? Mm, someone who's not creepy. <laughs> someone who. <laughs> Doesn't get angry if you tell them your feelings. <laughs> um, someone who, yeah, just. What just about somebody nice. who doesn't like pirate violinist? <laughs> someone who doesn't hire, think that that's an idea of a romantic date. Deal breaker. Um, yeah, turn that yeah. car right the hell around. No, right thank now. you. No, absolutely not. Somebody who likes to eat at the, at the spaghetti factory. <laughs> <laughs> Someone, someone who insists on, on eating at sweet tomatoes. Wait, does that sound yeah. clip really oh begin with gosh. "You're a woman, right?" Wait, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That, yep. yeah that's what he. That's that's how he talks to Guy. He's like, "You're yeah. a woman, right?" You're a woman, right? And Guy's like, "Sure, like, mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah." Okay, wait, sure. wait, wait. I, as a woman, I have to, I have to talk about one of my worst dates. Oh yes, yes, please. Oh, feel, I love feel this. Feel free. So, actually this makes <laughs> this <it> date <laughs> Actually, his date was amazing compared to the date I was on. <laughs> so, I it's it's not quite a blind date, but I know the person, but it's kind of a blind date as like we're just mutual acquaintances. And it I wasn't with up, Marvin, right? No. no <laughs> it was not with Marvin. What a relief. <laughs> <laughs> um and I, you know, it's typical like young adult fashion. It's in a restaurant in a mall at um, California Pizza Kitchen. Oh, or yeah. Pizza, whatever, right? Yeah. So we go, I, you know, I'm supposed to meet him there at this place, you know, like I wasn't like picked up or anything like that. And so I, I show up and he's already like, I'm texting him. He's like, oh, I'm already at the table. I'm like, okay, cool. And I get there and there's, he already has a full meal already like like out and ordered and he already was eating and i was like oh (laughs) um, okay i thought i and i looked at my 
phone. I was like, well, I'm not, I'm not late. I'm actually a little bit early. And I'm like, that's, that's bizarre. And I'm like, oh, okay. He has like a drink already, a full meal. And I'm like, Oh, uh, I were, he's like, yeah, I was, I was hungry. I just wanted to eat. And I'm like, oh, okay. And it just, was that like really a second aw- meal? Cause he had like a meal right before. Yeah. And it was really, it was really <laughs> wait, awkward. Wait, maybe, maybe his blood sugar was really low. Was no, it, was this man a diabetic? I no, no. And so I was like, okay, this is really bizarre. And from then on, it was just very awkward. Oof. And didn't, didn't um, like then you order dinner. And then he was already done, so he just kind of sat there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Can, just very awkward. I mean, what would be better, sitting there or leaving? Um, yeah. I didn't Probably leave. at that point, leaving. <laughs> uh, I didn't well, leave, but, you know, No, I mean, I, the other guy leaves, and you can have your dinner in peace without him, like, watching. Yeah. yeah I, I don't know. I mean, at least he paid, thank God, but, I mean. Okay, okay. I, I am very that. much pro the guy paying for the date, and I know, like, Everyone probably come for me for that, like splitting, whatever. I don't believe in that. But um, <laughs> <laughs> at least for, that's just my impression of how it should be. But um, yeah, it was just very awkward. But what if, what if but, the, what if the, what if the female asks a male out? Oh yeah, that's totally fine. Yeah, then of she can pay? No. <laughs> no. Interesting. No. no. Well, I mean, so she, she's she will always, <laughs> yeah, she will offer, I'm sure, but the, so she's like if you agree to this, is. you are paying for. It. Yeah, absolutely. Well, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, there's a there's actually a bit absolutely. in um our guest Morgan Jay's comedy special oh, yeah, yeah, on YouTube yeah, yeah, that true, is specifically yeah. about this. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. yeah. He has a yeah, song about it. it. Yeah. Oh, yeah and and that's just, you know, and you know, that's guys can be creepy, but I will mm. also share one other little creepy experience. Before, I had. You, before you move on, can I ask you one thing? Yeah. Uh, what what was he eating when you showed up? Uh, he was, it was pasta. It was something. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't like a pizza or anything. Okay. It was like I wanted kind of to know what pizza was. Yeah, no, it wasn't <laughs> anything like that, but it was just really Nothing threw shareable. me off. No. <laughs> yes, it, for, yeah, it wasn't like, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, well, maybe it was like a, like a appetizer, appetizer early. Appetizer and pizza. Was like a, yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, it's, yeah. he's, he was just eating pasta. Yeah. It was appetizer just very pizza. odd. And yeah, I, I never really got an explanation as to what happened, but it was just very odd. Was there a second date? Uh, we actually, you know what? We actually did end up going out for a little Why? bit. Yeah, Why would you we give did. Her a okay, because I officially I the pasta got her. The pasta got her. <laughs> because I'm stupid, and you know, and and but you know what? To be fair, we only went out for a couple months, and I broke up. Only with him. a couple months. Yes, okay. only yeah, and I broke I broke up with him because he told me he told me he's a Republican, and then I said it's over. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was a deal breaker. The appetizer pizza, the appetizer pizza was fine. Being shitty uh, at a date, yeah. you know, like eating yeah. before you arrive, all that. He was like, right. I'm a hard. Poor Republican, and he was super it conservative. It took that long to find out. Yeah, well, like we weren't asking the hard questions. You know, nowadays I would get straight. I wouldn't even go out with someone who I don't agree with in that way. And but you know, back then it, it was like the old, the old days. We didn't have like the internet and all that. The old so, days, like, you know. <laughs> we couldn't, we couldn't get to that internet. fast. Yeah. <laughs> You're like you had to find out if someone was a piece of shit the hard way. Place in like 1991. <laughs> yeah, you had, you had to find. Yeah, not when I was one years old. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It was just, you know, you had to find out. Yeah, like Ricardo said, you had to find out if someone was a piece of shit the hard way. Well, know? I mean, and uh, uh, social media is, yeah. wasn't really big no. until recently, really. So, like, yeah, uh, even when it was around, like, you when Facebook first was around, like, not everyone was on it. So, you didn't know, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah maybe, yeah. maybe yeah. my space. Yeah. But fair, fair. Yeah, yeah, and I didn't know, like, you know, there wasn't any kind of, like, I couldn't, like, look him up and, like, see what he was posting and, like. Okay, here's a random question, kind of then. Stuff. Was the tea party a thing yet? Oh, uh, I, yeah. I wouldn't have. What is, sure. what I think so. I don't know. I don't know. I have no clue. I have 2000. no clue what your age was tea, at the tea, time. So. Was Obama president? Tea Party was a direct response to Obama. No. Okay, then no, the Tea Party wasn't a thing. Obama. Yet. Okay. Okay. So well, yeah. yeah, I mean, but then I'll I'll cross. Uh, but I do want to get your guys' opinion on this. Um, tell me if this is creepy or not. So okay. Okay. I had been going out with this guy for a couple dates, and it was going well. And Valentine's Day comes up. And, creepy. you know, we're kind of... <laughs> yeah, already. I'm going to go with creepy already. <laughs> <laughs> and at the time, Too I worked... Too much lead up. Already creepy. <laughs> <I> worked, <laughs> at the time, I worked at CVS Pharmacy, 
And I was like a cashier or whatever. And the guy I was seeing at the time, he worked um, hard rock as like a waiter. Oh, I thought you were going to say Walgreens. Like a, as a server. <laughs> no. And that's that's actually how I met. Actually, how we met is I went to Hard Rock Cafe and he was my server. And mm-hmm. out of all the girls I was with, he like, you know, like hit on me and like did the whole like, you know, let's go out. Here's my number type thing. And we kind of, it was like a really weird, like in person type of thing. And I was like, okay, this is really strange. And so we started going out. He was actually, okay, cool, fine, whatever. And then Valentine's day comes up and I, I kind of feel this pressure and he's just like, I'm like, oh no, he wants to take me out, I think. And so he asked me like, Hey, are you free for dinner Valentine's day? And I'm like, no, I, you know, I, I worked during the day. Um, mm-hmm. but at night I, I got off work maybe around three o'clock so I could make dinner, but like, I didn't want to. So I just told him like, no, sorry, I have work. Mm-hmm. And I kind of left it at that. And you know, whatever. I, I didn't hear from him. I'm like, sorry. Turns out at, I'm, I'm home after work at my house, just chilling upstairs with my sister or whatever. And my mom comes up to me and she's like, Sarah, there's, there's someone here Ooh, for you creepy. <laughs> and i was like oh, what boy. and so i'm in this is late at night this is it's about midnight i'm in my oh, pajamas okay. not, no way yeah i'm in Midnight's, my pajamas yeah. i'm in my it's late i'm in my pajamas i'm you know i don't have any makeup on so is it i'm in my the pajamas 15th already i'm it's it's late yeah maybe it is the 15th at this point and so he i my mom's like someone's here for you at the door and i'm like what and I go outside and it's it's this guy. He literally showed up at my house and he's like, I, you know, talked to my parents, all the stuff and was like, I had to see you. I wanted to see you. And and I'm just like, okay, this is weird. Let's let's go on a walk around the neighborhood, you know, and like, what are you doing here? And and he's just like, Yeah, I um I wanted to come here unannounced in the middle of the night oh, and boy. uh ask you to be my girlfriend. And I was like, wow. Um, so no. spontaneous. Said, so romantic. <laughs> I said, I said no. <laughs> and I did much like this girl did in this episode. And I said, I'm so sorry. You're really cool. But I'm, I'm just, I'm not into you like that. It's and, been a lovely program, but. Yeah. And he <laughs> was really sad, really, really sad, um, really upset. And then, yeah, he got in his car and left and i never talked to him did again. he peel out yeah i, I don't remember but i it was just i thought it was i mean is it creepy for someone to show up at your house that late at night also I mind think, you um, i want to remind everyone i was in high school this is the age of jailbait we're talking about right so um, yeah how old was he uh he was definitely i was underage for sure. Um, so that's what adds to the creepiness is. I mean, I was that already high- makes then, then that by default. <laughs> yeah. Re- yeah. Regardless yeah. of whatever you else are, happening. Like, you yeah. are already yeah. part yeah. of Chris Hansen's show. Yeah. 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 You, you got you to gotta open up with that. <laughs> so yeah, you in, have to start I'm with that, actually. School. Yes, yeah. I'm in high school. Because this, um, this colors this whole story <laughs> a different color. Like, from the beginning, I would have been like, nope, nope. Yeah, because nope, when you're just talking about how you're like, this began with how you were employed and a lot of people, you know. Well, I worked. I worked in high school, so that's the thing about me. Right, is right, right. I, and that's, I that's worked, not that's not something that everybody school. does. Yeah. So, like, mm-hmm. if you hear about you know working somewhere, you know, you don't have this assumption that oh, they're under eighteen. No, yeah, I was. I was probably actually I was sixteen. I was sixteen at the time, and this guy was probably mid twenties. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> how, did, how, did, how did your parents <laughs> let you go on a walk? <laughs> <laughs> no, they also knew I was dating him too, right? Like they knew oh, wow. I was going out to sushi with him. I, you know, this is, this is back when I, I, I gotta be honest. I only dated guys in high school. I, in high school, I only dated people that were in their mid twenties and above. Like <laughs> it was bad looking back then. It was very inappropriate. Well, those are the guys who have disposable income who could pay for stuff. No, they were losers. They weren't. Does <laughs> <laughs> that mean no one paid for anything? No, they went. Okay, they're going after 16 year olds and 15 year olds. Like, and we call it jailbait because, like, all the girls would line up in high school and all their boyfriends would come drive by and pick them up. And I was totally one of those people. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. 
So is that creepy? It's creepy for him uh, to show yeah, up. Yeah, right. from, from so the beginning. Th- that alone is what makes okay. it creepy. Yeah. Everything else is is extra creepy gravy. This yeah. Is, mm-hmm. you don't, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, surprised yeah. my parents fact, let me I, see him, fact, actually. In fact, I hesitate to just call him creepy. Like, the whole story and situation is kind of giving me creepy, creepy vibes. <laughs> You're yeah, creepy, Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know, all this to say, I, and that doesn't even, I mean, I have a lot of creepy, I have a coworker who on that same Valentine's Day, he was in his mid forties. He gave me, he bought one of those like little roses and he gave it to me and I was 16 and Oof. he, my managers actually got mad um, because they were like, that's really inappropriate. He can't be giving you that kind of stuff. Right. That was the guy that kept like trying to be like, hey, what are you doing? Well, like, that was the guy when the lights went off, there was a oh, power yeah. outage oh. in my work. He cornered me to the back of the store. Jesus Christ. And he said like, oh, the, you know, he whispered to me like, oh, the lights are off. Like we can do whatever we want back here. You know, like no one's going to know. And I was like, um, Okay. Uh, For context, everyone, this is Florida. <laughs> yes, so. this is all in Florida. I was about to bring you know up what? Florida. You know I was what? like, you know Florida what? man is, has been doing all of this. Yeah, I, I take I take back everything I said about this being creepy. That explains it all. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Florida. Yeah. yeah. No, I have I have so many stories. Like it, but all this to say that men <laughs> oh, no. are so. I have guys who have jumped in my car. I have guys that who guy, stalked me. That was the guy me. that jumped yeah. in your car during your break. Yeah. I have guys who have stalked me and over where I've lived. Like, I'm telling Oof. you, like, guys are creepy. And I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry yeah. to make a generalization, but no, just living I, as a woman. <laughs> I can agree with that. You have no, so many of these experiences yeah. where people like Jordy are going to get angry and go in the hologram, a holodeck, and make their own version of you. And I'm sure these guys yeah. probably would have done that too. And, you know, I mean, really uh, luckily, at least for Jordy, it, it kind of started off yeah. like completely just like he just needed information and it was yeah. easy just to interface with a right. program it's, that's it's talks. clear that the writers intended it to be like an organic meet cute. Yeah. And like yeah. unintentional, like he was surprised she started talking to him as a hologram and he was like, whoa, I don't think I Are you sure that, he actually. wasn't surprised by how she looked? I mean, it could be both, but I, I but he's also like, computer, did I ask for this? You know, like, you know. He, yeah. He, he why, really why did you put a, a sexy tint to this to this <laughs> hologram here? Hey, man. And, hey, man. It, it, by the end of the episode, she's telling him, hey, this ship is essentially me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, can just, yeah. you can just stick it in any of the ports on this, yeah. on this ship. Any oh, ports on it, during any storms. No, but then hold on. W- wait a minute. What if that means that the ship... Is it made the decision on its own to present the an ship image is of actually Brom. the one that wants to fuck Jordy? It's like yeah, see, it's, it's like, like the Futurama movie. episode. Now. Yeah, yeah, it's a Futurama <laughs> episode. Oh, it's like it's like uh, an express ship wants to fuck Jordy. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Actually, that'd be um, really interesting if there was like a Star Trek episode where the ship is falling in love. With well, like with Jordy, Jordy would be the prime target for that, right? Yeah, because yeah, he's the one who's always taking care of it. Who knows he's the all, most he's, about he's it? He's always saying, "Talk to me, baby. Talk to me." What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know? Oh, man. Uh, that that, that could be a really good episode. That could be. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to me. Swapping out the dilithium crystals. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Also, got to do his little. Got to do his little. Starting off that antimatter matter to one yeah, to dude. one ratio. Yeah. He's, he's always pushing the right <laughs> buttons, you know? Um, but anyway, he, he's being creepy with, with uh, the bartender. Uh, yeah. <laughs> see, I saved it. Um, and so, you know, she's like, oh, yeah. basically, like, he's like, you're creepy, but I'm into bald guys, basically. <laughs> and, and so, which is Picard, right? Yeah. Like, we she's assume into Picard, that she's dude. into Picard. Yeah. Yeah. Poor she's Riker. Like, I like crush. people. I like people that are into ships and bottles. Uh, <laughs> and, you know. <laughs> Uh, horseback riding and you know, stuff like that. Fencing, yeah, killing Fencing. your friends, uh, your friend's uh, <laughs> husband. You know, uh, friend aside, I, st- I stand yeah. by my my statements that that Picard's a murderer. <laughs> um, and then so this the whole all everything starts going to shit, and then basically Jordy basically makes he makes a hologram of Brahms. Uh, so he can see what went wrong, which begs the question: Why don't they do this all the time? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know why they. Don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> why, why are we? Why are we always consulting uh, AI yeah. versions of super smart yeah. people? 
he oh. <laughs> he should do it like um remember the the Batman game where you can reenact like the crime scene? Oh well, yeah, all the, the Batman ba- games. all the the Arkham games in general, all of them like right? uh, Arkham and he, and Origins. The Telltale Batman game, you did that as well. Reconstruct the yeah, crime you, scenes. Yeah, you you connected yeah. the with links, yeah. And yeah, Ar- yeah. Yeah. And they can do this here. They're like, okay, how did how did the ship end up here? Okay, zoom, and then there's like links and stuff in the, in the hologram. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, this was a very silly episode. I wish this episode didn't exist because it, <laughs> so far, the, all the, the whole episodes, all the episodes, I've been like fine with. Like, hey, yeah, some are stupid, some have Wesley. It's fine. And but overall, I I like the show. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm liking mm-hmm. the show. But this one was like, god damn, it took me way out of it. And like, it was a weird Jordy thing, and like a weird. Hol- holodeck thing and i don't know it made me feel creepy and and I, I, <laughs> I, I i don't like it i don't like how it made me feel um and it just like the the booby trap part like didn't ha- it didn't make any sense to me and then finally they get out basically they, they get out and then uh picard has to fly the ship manually because it's only on yeah. on yeah. Thrusters. do you like when he like says get the fuck up Wesley yeah. you know like that was a great moment <laughs> this is actually important I need to drive <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna fucking drive although honestly it should be Riker driving yeah, Riker he's is the best driver he's the best driver yeah the they ship. call him they called him baby driver back in the <laughs> <Baby driver. laughs> back baby when he had a smooth baby face <laughs> yeah yeah. which yeah. I, when I was watching this I asked Marvin I was like why is Wesley always driving the exactly I've been saying like, that for fucking what? months now <laughs> that seems like a really <laughs> bad idea like why are why is the fate of the entire everybody up to this kid? He's Some, driving because because Picard like, killed his dad <laughs> and he feels guilty. He feels bad, so he's and like, he, I so lo- he's like, you get you get a pass. You know those people <laughs> who who like had to like struggle to get into 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 the academy and like they're just yeah. busting their ass. Fuck them. You could sit in their seat and fucking drive, dude. You know how insulting insane. that is to everybody else who has to like do that job when he's not there when he's sleeping or when he's doing his studies that's so fucking insulting like <laughs> oh yeah i'm i'm second banana to fucking what to wesley <laughs> yeah. yeah fucking I, I i would kill him dude like I'd he like, doesn't <laughs> he doesn't seem qualified to drive the entire no, ship no he doesn't you know? he's not qualified to do shit dude yeah i like to believe it's like like the sibling second player is unplugged thing and it's actually data driving the whole time and wesley thinks he's doing shit <laughs> even yeah. that's insulting <laughs> that's he's wasting worse. a seat yeah. on the bridge i guess yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah um but anyway um picard drives the, he flies a ship with just thrusters and he gets them out of there and then they blow up the booby trap basically <laughs> yeah um i do like they're like vindictive about it they're like blow this shit up blow this fucking thing to <laughs> kingdom come it's that very star trek <laughs> yeah but but yeah. there is it's also very presumptuous that they can blow it up considering how all the other attempts to you know, do anything to it, like just yeah. absorb the last, energy. Yeah, and last time when they shot radiation it, output. it made it way worse. Exactly. <laughs> like, so, that feels like a very dangerous move. <laughs> and then, and then this episode really turns into like an episode of like weird science, like the movie Weird Science, the, mm-hmm. the John Hughes, because mm-hmm. like he built his woman basically, that, who's mm-hmm. like at his level intellectually. I guess that's why he picked her, and then he gives her like personality, and he's like, yeah, you know, like. And then well, he to be like fair, he he just asked the computer to compile a clo- as close an approximation as it can of what she was like based on records that mm-hmm. already existed for personality's sake. Yeah. But yeah, do you guys but see? Do you guys creepy. see the moment when he first sees her? He does an obvious like look oh, down yep. and look up. Yep. Like, he scans her. That's body. That's true. Yeah. It's well, a I mean, like, they, it's, o- ocular, it's ocular pat down, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, with that visor on, he can see yeah. more than any of us. Yeah. That's true. He can just he can actually just like tweak it and like yeah. close off. He just like looking at her naked and was like, <laughs> yeah. fuck. Well, he has predator vision. He just sees body heat. If you know what I mean. <laughs> um, but it's so cringy. Like just yeah, the yeah. direction of him in that in that scene. You're just like, they're like, okay, now do a big obvious scan of her body, like you think she's hot. And like I, they have <laughs> they have like like banter, like you know? Yeah. Like they have like a like old banter from like old movies, like, yeah, see, you're not doing yeah. this right. Uh, <laughs> see if you move the the crystals here. Oh, yeah, this hey, is yeah, his see? girl Friday stuff, right? Here. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. For sure. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's what that might be a, a uh, an inspiration, maybe. And then, and then, like at one at one point, like they give the computer a bunch of like power, basically, so it could start like doing all these calculations. And mm. then it fails, and then the power goes out, and then like 
he has to ask Picard to give him power for that and like lower basically he diverts power from the shields to go to the holodeck so he can keep <laughs> fucking flirting with this fucking holodeck yes exactly and then, and then when Picard comes by afterward he's like really he's yeah. not he's impressed he's fucking pissed he's, he's like, fucking pissed this, this is what you're doing right we're, I think, we're all dying I read it more as uncomfortable he yeah, just gets I, the I, hell out I, of no, there no I think he was upset I think he was upset she <laughs> rubs she pissed. rubs his shoulders yeah. dude she rubs he's getting shoulders. fucking massages while everyone's about but, to but, fucking what's weird die is that, like, like in the moment he's resisting it's like nah I don't want to feel that good right now yeah, yeah. So it's, a, so it's a really it's, weird way to put that's that. That's also but. a really weird line to say. Yes, yes I don't want to feel that good right now. What yeah. the fuck? Yeah, like I don't know. So that, is, that is directly it's, after her line, which is kind of a like a setup for creepy line, which is like, oh, I thought it would make you feel good. Yeah, it's it's weirdly written. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I don't want to feel weirdly that written. good right now. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, let's make her like come on to him a lot. Yeah, uh, and, and then like w- within all the flirting uh, and the uh, banter, uh, eventually they figure out how to fix it and how to do it so they just use thrusters. And so he goes into the bridge. Jordy does and tells basically like, hey, we're gonna do this, do this maneuver, and then you we got to do thrusters and not use the the old flux capacitor. Um, mm-hmm. And then we'll it'll be fine. Uh, and and they do it, and it's fine. And they save the day. Uh, but it come very close to dying because Jordy wanted to flirt with a hologram. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's super weird. Yeah, that's why I don't I don't like this episode at all. Uh, this is <laughs> this is one of the one of the few episodes where I'm like, uh, this is a negative number for me. Like, oh, wow. Wow. not a negative number, but like you know how like below basically five. five anything below five is bad for me. Right. right. So I'm just gonna say it now this is a fucking this is a a soft three. Ooh, oh. a soft three. Yeah. Oh. Could be a two if I really wanted to, but I'm being nice. <laughs> yeah, it's it's weird. I mean, and the two plots sort of like thematically connect, like because they're both about kind of. like rejecting technology a bit. Yeah, yeah, you know, and like he realizes afterward that like I guess oh he she's not real. I can't really do this. And also, we do, Picard has that speech where he's like, "The ships are now driving us." Number one, and then yeah, you know, well, and he's like. Yeah. Even after like, okay, so w- watching this, I always have to remind myself with like shitty episodes that like, okay, I'm watching this through the prism of when this came out, right? And mm-hmm. and the storylines of what was happening there and the fact that like, this is, this show, uh, yes, it was ahead of its time. I get it. Like the writing is, you know, they're, th- it's like enlightened writing, you know what I mean? Because they're writing themes that are still prevalent today, right? Mm-hmm. But the episodes like this kind of make me think like, fuck, at the end of the day, we're still making, uh, we're sh- still trying to make an entertaining show and take away the creepy stuff that now we find creepy. It's still <laughs> yeah. not that entertaining, this episode. Yeah. Um, and it still doesn't really push. You kind of know, you find out that maybe that Jordy's not the best to talk to people because he's not himself. He he pretends to be something he's not to whether imp- impress somebody or, mm-hmm. you know, I feel like it's a missed opportunity. I mean, you have so much of like Jordy in this episode. We could have really explored his character in a lot of different ways and except we got just a lot of creepiness. I feel like some of the interactions with with faux Brom, like, you know, if you take just how they just the interactions themselves and say you replace Brom, the character with a real ass person, like some of it's okay. Yeah. If mm. if it's not based on a dead person who was real. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Leia Brahms isn't currently dead. Oh, so she's out there somewhere, huh? Yeah. So that's what made it a bit creepier. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah. So she so, exists like this? This isn't her in the past? Like that's uh, just that's her, her in the past. That's her in the past. But, okay, so current yeah. day she's like an old lady, but this is like is, her. this is the so inception that there's this is inception, an ev- inception where like he goes back in time and then like he's like, "Oh, my daughter's now older than me." It's like Brahm is older than, than, than him. Okay. Does this mean we're going to have an episode later where Jordy finds current Brahm? Yeah, and he's like, love is what brought us together. Love in the and she's like, who the fuck are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, don't you remember Brahm, the boy too? <laughs> <laughs> that was me. I made that. That's, I, I oh, wrote that God. movie. Oh, I'm watching okay. the part where she's massaging his shoulders, yep, and it's yep. so weird. Yeah. Okay, I... Uh, it's just if weird I, because like I everyone's some... gonna die. Like it's <laughs> not the time. Yeah, <laughs> they waste a lot of time with the with the romantic banter that we mm. didn't need. Yeah. I... Did, did any did, did you guys like it? No, no I 
I it, it like it's it didn't stand out like the standout thing about the episode is that Jordy it's revealing well, that Jordy's like, a creeper. The, his scenes with Brom in, in in the holodeck I don't feel are very romantic at all. Yeah, they're not. They they're, they are talking about the goddamn ship most of the time. Yeah, th- there's like a subtext of them like connecting further, but I think like a the lot way, I think the way they're trying to play it is that you know they they are the he's he's bonding with this entity like intellectually. It's emerging. Yeah, they're 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 starting uh, to get mm, closer. So here's what happened with this episode. I watched it. I went to get my car serviced, and I had to wait while they did it. Mm-hmm. And I was sitting in the waiting room, and I watched it on my phone. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, "This is a bad episode." And then, and then I thought, "Well, I watched it, and I had no distractions because I wasn't on my on my phone texting. I was literally just watching it, right?" Mm-hmm. But then, I'm like, maybe I missed something. So when I came back, I had to watch it again. Oh, to be like, did I miss something, or like, was am yeah. I being too harsh with this episode? But no, it just angered me the second time. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm like, no, this is just a stupid episode to me. Um, it just feels like the stakes are so high for him to be like, yeah. fucking around. You getting know? massaged, dude. Yeah, getting fucking massaged. Like, what? Because you at know? the end of the day, like, he, he, I mean, this is what happens with engineering issues all the time, right? But, but him working <laughs> They're in the room with, getting massages yeah, no, 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 on no, no, computers. I mean, I mean the, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, the part where, like, he's working with uh, AI Leah Brahms, and uh, Brahms but the solution th- they're working on together ends up not being the solution they use. You know, yeah, the solution yeah. they That's use true. is the one that Jordy just thinks of. Like, wait a minute. We've yeah. been doing this wrong the whole time, which is kind of, I guess, the, again, that's. I think that's the theme is that like there was too much of a reliance in technology and he's realizing, hey, this thing that's emerging is not right. Is this Let's a commentary stop. on like sex dolls, like futuristic <laughs> sex dolls eventually? Like, you know, like, hey. Yeah, they were like, becoming a really big problem in the late 80s. So they had yeah. to, you know, yeah. this was a very special episode of TNG. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, don't fuck sex dolls because it'll take over the world and don't date robots <laughs> the radiation will get us yeah i mean i feel I mean, like it's that's exact same quantity yeah. it's 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 that it's that question of like stealing someone's image to create a separate entity that is yeah like, you know, like in, uh, in so many ways like deep like fakes someone, or whatever but, you know deep fakes. yeah they, those, those exist too oh yeah. no um, here's the thing is that like at the end of the day I wasn't I didn't have fun with this episode and I wanted because I wanted to learn so much more about Jordy there was so many questions I had about Jordy that were not answered and I get he's smart I get like he figured it out and he, we, we weren't we can't be reliant on computers to, that much for solutions like he had to figure it out on his own but at the end of the day like I wanted this to be such a different episode and it wasn't yeah it's a total missed opportunity for sure yeah, it's unfortunately, the main takeaway you have is that like Jordy's willing to get into some creepy stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I thought the harp ladies were weird. And look, I'm very open. Like, hey, whatever you're into, dude, you're into, you know, whatever you're into, fucking flutes, fuck it, I don't give a shit. <laughs> uh, but this, uh, I wasn't into this. I find it funny how I think I am actually amongst us, the one who's most willing to cut him a bit of slack here. Because you like Brahms the boy too. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's 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 just because like it's written that he it's written such that he isn't constructing her just to fuck her. Oh you yeah, know? yeah. Like, this isn't just in the interest of of like resolving his love lorn problem. Yeah. The reason why she exists and the reason why she appears is because he wants to. He actually does want to fix the goddamn shit. Yeah, and, yes, and then yes, he kisses yes. her. He kisses her at the end, dude. Mm. Yeah. And that part's creepy. But <laughs> yeah. But yeah. It's, it's weird. It's that thing where it's like, I don't, human's gonna human. Yeah. I guess so. I guess so. But um, and, and it's just, a, okay. And we've already seen how, uh, on several occasions so far, how the holodeck produces like real ass entities with yeah, like yeah. personalities and shit. She could have killed him. <laughs> yeah, and and she very well may have if the yeah. simulation went on long enough. But yeah, the good, she could have <laughs> killed everybody. <laughs> All simulations in the holodeck. Yeah, eventually. I mean, it's it's so weird it's like, to have this the isn't, kiss. It, it it is a very creepy situation. It's a very scary reality to to contend with. But this entity that that was formed within the holodeck, I feel, is a unique entity that that has its own autonomy. 
And mm. he he's a he's a face grabber when he kisses her. <laughs> he's a face grabber. He did yeah he did a weird thing when he kissed her. He yeah. like took his two in like his index and middle I don't finger like and that. kind of like grab like her he like cut he like grabs her so like it's a bit strange lower face. Man, I, like, I demonstrated a, it on Sarah. I was like okay let me I was sure like, I you Sarah. know if you're gonna kiss someone don't fucking touch don't fucking touch my face like <laughs> yeah it's no, a, it's that's yeah a no. he, he does a weird chin pinch there. I don't like I don't like that. You know what's weird? So weird to me. The the episode was originally supposed to have like it was originally written with picard being geordie really so originally what? the episode was no. i mean we've already me? kind of, we've already seen a version of this that was riker it yeah was, riker yeah and yeah. and what was her name melody uh, oh shit yeah. i forgot uh, like her but, i hardly know her but the, uh, <laughs> but I, I would i i would submit though that with riker it's like somewhat it's like less creepy and it's just more it's less a, creepy because it's not based on a real ass person. Yes, exactly. Yeah. 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 Cause it's like he, they, the, com- the computer's made a completely fictional He's a computer. Thing. New Orleans. My God, what if he meets this lady one day? Wouldn't yeah. that be awkward? That would be very awkward. How yeah. is he going to explain? I kissed a fucking robot, ver- like a hologram version. Yeah, but it was of actually, you, it was it actually was the ship's computer and... AI trying to get in my pants. <laughs> yeah. Like what the yeah, fuck? Like yeah. that's my official read on this now. And it's, it makes the episode way better. I mean, for it me. kind of reads that way, right? Because she keeps, saying the ship is me you know like yeah i'm everywhere touch my yeah, engines you're touching you've already me. been all up in me <laughs> yes Just yeah put it in any port For three and, and a half seasons <laughs> yep. and i'll i'll be there that's me US, usb3 usb <laughs> yeah. uh, 3.1 so, C A it is no it is you, it is C there's no wrong way baby <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. the other thing that was going to happen in the episode is that um originally this is so there's a famous doctor in Star Trek lore named Richard Daystrom so he's like considered like the Albert Einstein of Star Trek in the sense that like he helped I think he helped with like warp technology and all this stuff I imagine that whoever invented warp travel would be that guy yeah that's the um that's that's the guy the, from Dr. Star Emmett Trek. Brown <laughs> that's mm. a, that's the guy from First Contact I, I, his name I'm terrible with names but like basically James Richard Trumbo. Daystrom was also like a really prominent doctor so Leia Brahms was actually originally supposed to have been his daughter mm. um, oh. and, the, and the actor the 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 um the writers wrote it that way they called her Navid Daystrom then oh, after she was Navi. Ro- <laughs> 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 But the thing is, after they wrote all of that, they then realized that Richard Daystr and then they hired the actor um, to play play the character. They they realized that uh, Richard Daystrom is black, uh, <laughs> so what? they already had hired the actor. I mean, <laughs> no, that's fine. So it could be his adopted daughter. It could be like yeah, uh, they could have, but but, that, but they, because they were like it oh. complicates stuff. So like, I think so I think yeah. they were like oh um, let's just make her a different character and then that's what they wow. did. I, I haven't done this in a while but i'm gonna pitch my uh, my another picard ready okay okay okay, okay. uh i'm I re- i'm remaking the movie or the tv show i got mm-hmm. like anybody i can cast anybody yeah daniel d lewis dude oh my gosh yes he does a crazy accent dude and he goes mm-hmm. method <laughs> and he lives in a starship for like he's like he's like becomes friends with jeff jeff bezos so he can go up to space and live up there for like <laughs> six months <laughs> I'm not even sure if I should bring up this stupid in joke that Dan and I have about Daniel Lewis. Well, it's blazing through my head right now. I, I don't. <laughs> I don't know if it's even worth. Daniel Day Lewis is great. We've. You have to try to explain now. <laughs> it's you have like, to try. It's been a long time since we referenced it between each other. Uh, basically, we used to be like, uh, like you have no idea if Daniel Day Lewis is or isn't the most powerful being <laughs> in everything. <laughs> Yes, it's no impossible ev- to know whether or not Daniel Day Lewis is as powerful as he seems. <laughs> <laughs> is he? And, is his, is his acting? And that just makes him all the more terrifying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know how this powerful. came up. <laughs> I think it be it came from all these stories about him like method acting and you yeah, know, like, yeah, contorting yeah. himself to be like fucking anything and anyone. Wait, is he? He's he's not the guy that went back to being a shoe guy. Did oh he? yeah, that's him. That's him. That's him. That's him. Yeah. The shoe guy. He's a yeah. yeah, he's, he's a, he's a he's cobbler so, when, he's when he's not acting. He's fucking crazy. Yeah. No, he like quit acting now. Like he's not, he's not doing crazy. It he's just like. <laughs> no, no. I'm just saying that's that's crazy. You know, like oh, he's well, like it's just he just likes his family business, and he was like, I want to go back to my family business. I know, yeah. but he like quit acting. He he said he's not doing it anymore. Yeah, because like, so yeah, he said I'm finished. I think he could again. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's funny because I was watching an interview with Brian Cox, and he's friends with him, and he said. 
he was talking about how like they were, they were talking about Jeremy Strong's acting because he's mm-hmm. kind of falls in that category. He's a little messy, mm-hmm. and he was like, he's like, I love his acting. He's great. I have fun with everybody on set, but I don't think because he's like, I care for him so much that I hope he he adjusts his 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 acting style because I think that's not wow. he can't sustain that long term. He's like, I'm friends with Daniel Lewis, and he's quit two times because he can't. Mentally, well, it says on his Wikipedia he's officially retired. Mentally, you can't Hopefully. do that, Dimmy. Mean, you can't. You can't. Yeah, and do the thing that. is, I, I think even when he came back from at because the last thing he did was Phantom Thread, right? Yeah. And when he yeah. came back for that, uh, I honestly yeah. don't think his performance was that good. And I it think it's fine because, like, wow, like he's the, done a lot of great. He's done a lot of good movies. I yeah, was just him using two percent of his power. Yeah, for a guy, <laughs> for a guy a, who makes shoes, Jesus if he, if he uses a hundred percent. He disappears, becomes energy, just like that movie yeah. Powder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Uh, but yeah, oh, Daniel I liked uh, D- there will Dingo there will Kikola. there will be there will be blood. That was a good. Oh one. yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Was that yeah. the milkshake one? Yeah, oh, yeah. Milkshake one. yeah. Where you showed like, all the yeah the <laughs> one and the that's one where all the boys drew, together. Whatever. And, <laughs> yeah, god yeah. damn it, Ricardo! <laughs> <laughs> god fucking damn it! I just love that that whole scene where the it's funny that that's always the scene. Everyone references yeah. from that movie. Milkshake. Well, oh, I already yeah. referenced it earlier, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay. But think that about was, that. that. Think about that being in Lewis, Danny Lewis. Imagine him fucking as Picard. Oh my god! He's Unstoppable. Like, yeah, he's like no, he's like no, no, no. Cute. He's got to be Picard, dude, because then he could do like those long speeches and, and be like, but, but Q, he's like Riker, but, I drink your fucking milkshake. But Q is milkshake. so powerful, and Daniel <laughs> Day Lewis is so powerful. <laughs> yeah. Just lines up. No, oh he would. If we he don't know Picard, if it's a special effect he, or just if, Daniel Day Lewis doing it. If he was Picard, mm-hmm. he'd bitch slap the shit out of Q, dude. And he's like, "You <laughs> fuck with me one more time, dude. I will I'll make you into a milkshake, and I will drink you, you piece of shit." <laughs> we'll drink it, yes. Yeah, like if they ever show who yeah. like who took away Q's powers from the continuum or whatever, yeah. that's probably Daniel yeah. Day Lewis. Yeah, he'll, 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 he throws an axe in the in his and in, in Q's back as Q turns. And starts bludgeoning to death. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, like like, like up gangs of Star New York Trek. or <laughs> yeah. Last of the Mohicans. Oh, Last of the Mohicans! Oh my god, yeah, yeah, gangs of New York. Oh my god, yeah. Just looking at his filmography here. Wow. He's all I once looked away from a cue, but never again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, my man. gosh! And He's Lincoln? been in everything and oh, been God. everyone. Yeah, <laughs> the whole movie could have been him. You don't know. The Crucible. You don't know. Yeah, it probably was, but wow. we'll never know. Well, I give this episode a six out of ten. <laughs> I'm okay, I'm okay with it existing because, believe it or not, the the part of Jordy being kind of like weird with relationships is like introduced here, and it sort of is like a thing. That's this is why we keep saying Jordy's weird. <laughs> and I don't know how far it goes, so I'm I'm no longer going to say <laughs> Don't you know, compare yourself that to Jordy him. relate to him in you know that closely. <laughs> <laughs> However, um I mean, like I said, I am more willing to cut him some slack Dan's, than the rest of us here. Dan's like, I'm the Jordy of the group. I love pirates fucking playing the fiddle. <laughs> no, no, no. That, please, that shit's out. Please do not say you're the Jordy of the group. Oh my god, no automatically pirates. would be like, oh my god. Well, so Dan's I, creepy. I, 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 I'm also willing to cut him slack up until like they start getting really touchy, and it's just like, okay, come on, let's let's. let's I mean, I'm once not. he goes in for the kiss, it's like, what are you doing? Yeah, that's that's, that's the part where it's like, don't don't do that. That's like, a massage thing while creepy. He doesn't initiate that. That's and he true. Puts a stop to it. Yeah, he's like, stop it. So I'm like, okay, there's there's things where he's like, let's not do this. And then he goes in for the kiss. That's when you're go, like, Jordy, Jordy, that's a person. That's a real person. This is weird. Or, she's based kiss. on a real person, but she is actually the ship who is, I'm telling you. Oh, so <laughs> the weird. Ship. Based, based on a novel by Push by Sapphire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait. Not okay. wait. <laughs> what a precious <laughs> reference. <laughs> I, I It totally flew over my head what prompted the precious reference. <laughs> But I got the precious reference. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm being silly. Look, we can't always love every episode, and we can't no, always no, hate no, every episode. No. Um, it was. I would just wish it didn't exist. Dan and Sarah, this, what do you guys think? Yeah, mm, I'd say probably a five too, just because. Um. Well, no, I don't know if anybody else gave it a five. Actually, maybe I gave it a six. Yeah, so. I'm giving it a five. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's 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 creepy and. Uh, you know, unfortunately, I don't find any of his behavior acceptable. 
Like, you know? Well, I mean, it's 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 okay for characters yeah. to be jerks in a show. You know what I mean? Like Sure, but I don't I don't think that that was their intention at this time because they don't do that for anybody on this show. It's it's like, you know, TNG has like I mean, at least not that we've come across yet. There's like almost no character flaws really that are No, I'd say there are character off. flaws. Mm, I mean, but there's no like conflict like, oh, you know, like you know, like oh, Jordy's a pedophile or a weird, you know, like <laughs> oh, thing. Whoa, 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 whoa! Like, you, you mean know, like, like dating yeah. underage girls? Or <laughs> <laughs> in know, high school? Like, <laughs> yeah, like everyone I dated. I I don't know. What do you call someone who's into like robots and weird? What is that? Maybe into robots, digital. I mean, k- kinky, perhaps. Yeah, I don't know. I guess <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not. I'm, I'm not kink shaming. I'm not trying to say it's weird. It's whatever. But I feel like it was just a missed opportunity. In you general, you spent quite a bit of time calling this creepy. <laughs> <laughs> it is creepy, but I'm because not, it is. It's it okay is creepy. to say it is. <laughs> it is creepy, but I'm also not kink shaming. But I think it's creepy in the this context. Is, this is more than a kink. This is not a kink. It's it's. It's the big factor in my yeah. mind at all times is because this is based on a real person. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Because this is based on a real person. Yes. That's why I, it's that's so weird. One hundred percent the weird part. And I think also but the I beginning do also, date. The beginning date. You know, like I think yeah, that, that, he that was not is. seeing the flags of like her being like her being so uncomfortable, like was really, really cringy and like yeah. awkward to me. That wasn't great. I mean that I think that's like just how they write those types of scenes back and him being then. like, yeah, like this felt know, like that felt like a very angry. Hollywood rejection scene, you know? Yeah, it's like this yeah. is standard fare for the era. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't live up to like modern day. You know, like I try to think like if I was sitting next to them on the beach and I saw that, I would probably go to him and be like, yo, do you do you need help? Like do you need to get out of here? Like, how can I help you? Because this guy uh. looks like he's he's angry. He just yelled at the violin guy, you know, like I just I'd like, be more okay? I'd be more concerned with protecting both of them from the violin guy. <laughs> <laughs> if you rewatch that scene, he is so all up in their shit. Yeah. Just watch is. it. And especially yeah. watch it at 1.5 speed like I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you watch them if you if you saw that from afar, you'd be like, what the hell is that yeah. guy doing to them? Yeah, he just- like he's just like <laughs> he's just like all up in their shit. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's we just hear weird. you, du- we it's hear you, goddammit. Yeah. I think also juxtaposed with like they're in this really crazy death situation and he's getting his shoulders massaged, you know, yeah. like it just seems like a weird. Again, he did not, he did not order that to happen in any yeah. sort well, of way. I don't know. The computer's massaging his shoulders, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. But the, that's like computer's the computer, fault the compu- the computer's thinking it would make him feel good. And I'm, that's what I'm saying. It's the goddamn ship. Yeah. The ship the ship after Jordy. Just, it's just weird. And it chose to embody itself in the creepiest vessel possible. <laughs> It's just bizarre. And, uh, you know, the, it's a missed opportunity. They could have done so much more with this character. He, this is this is Jordy's episode, and this is how they were. <laughs> this is the episode? I would have been pissed as the actor. I have, I have a question, like, Sarah. Yeah. Um, I have to, be, uh, before I forget this question, I have to ask you now. The California pizza, pizza guy, was he older? Yeah. Was he twi- in his 20s? Uh, he was a little older. That guy was actually more like in my age range, like maybe like a year or two older than me. Okay, okay. But um, he was fine. He was like my age, which is maybe why it explains the weirdness, which at the time I was like a teenager, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, everyone after that, I was, I was total jailbait at the time, which is horrible. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's common to admit to that. Um, I, I, I have uh, no problems you know admitting to it. It's I, Florida. I, I, I it's have Florida. no problems admitting isn't to Florida, it. Isn't Florida, and yeah. I'm, this is, is going to sound really creepy coming out of my mouth, but just go with it. Isn't Florida, uh, the age of consent, like 16? Isn't that why people um, date older? No, I think I know Georgia age is. of consent, age of consent. Let's look this up. <laughs> Pro tip, if you Oh, age if, of consent, if you don't Florida have to look is 18, is 18. If oh, you're si- oh, here's people ask if you're 16 years old, can you date a 22 year old in Florida? Uh, Florida statute uh, states any sexual activity between individuals one age 16, 17, and the other age group is not illegal. Oh, okay. oh, that's why they were doing it. I mean, Sarah sounded I don't interested know. just now. <laughs> it's not illegal. I mean, because honestly, like, point me to the nearest holodeck. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, every I and everyone I knew, and this really speaks more to like the guys in Florida. They were all in their like think about yourself in a mid twenties to th- even thirties. We dated people in their thirties, right? Would you uh, date someone in high school? If no. I was in high school, no. If you were mid twenties and thirties, would you no. date someone in high school? You know what's so crazy is that <laughs> I've only dated <laughs> I've only answer. dated uh, older women. Ah, oh. uh, when I was sixteen, I dated a twenty one year old. Okay, I mean I've also. Like until I met Sarah, I, I had also only dated older women, but primarily because I was dating people in school and I was a year younger than everyone. So like that's kind of how it always. So not was. much older anyway, right? Yeah, and I'm much older, like a year, two years older. Yeah, but yeah, you like guys, that sort of like, difference is negligible to me. Yeah, a year yeah. or two is fine, but like if you're in in your mid twenties or thirties, I don't I don't know if you you shouldn't be interested in anyone that's in high school. You shouldn't be hanging around high schools. Go away. <laughs> and I can tell you in Florida, it was con- every girl dated someone that was in their mid 20s. Oh, 30s. Florida. Everybody. <laughs> like yeah. everybody. My, my sister included. Like she had to, we had to forge a driver's license because my dad didn't believe it and he made the boyfriend. What, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Okay. Because that's Whoa. what Sarah, that's what you I'm sound a little about. self-incriminating. What no, f- it's true. It's true. That it's doesn't true. make it self incri- not self-incriminating <laughs> because it's true. What are you talking about? No, it's self-incriminating. <laughs> but what I'm t- what I'm trying to say, Mar, you have to is cut that- this out. You have to save her. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm trying to say no, no. We're I, we're in the right. Like <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. All right, Sarah. Let's just stop here. That's okay. what I'm trying Sarah, to say. Okay, we're, I'm we're, trying to say. And what was your score? Give <laughs> us. <laughs> Like I'm guess. trying to say no. Let me try. Let me get this out. I'm trying okay, to okay. say that young girls are taken advantage of. That's what I'm oh, trying yeah. to say. Yeah, is you like, need to go into making fake documents in order to justify that no, statement. But that's what these guys would do. Is what oh, I'm I, trying. To oh, say. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah. In order to date younger, <laughs> they're going to do whatever they can to. Wait, date so they girls. forge documents for you? Their own documents to prove that they are actually within our age range and not 25 to 30. Oh, God. Wait, so they would produce fake IDs to prove they were younger? Yes. Exactly. (laughs) Fuck. (laughs) Exactly. Jesus Christ, Florida. Well, anyway. Because, you know. Hey, anyway. If if you're listening from Florida, (laughs) fuck you. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, look. Anyway, that was booby trap. Well, we got Dan. We got Dan's rating now. Thanks. Yeah, we got. No, I, we I, I I I laughed out a six while we yeah, were arguing. Wow. I guess that was a six. That was booby trap. We were. This was newbie Star Trek. And if you wanted to ask us a question, you can email us at contact at newbiestartrek dot com. This week we don't have a question because we just don't have a. Question oh my god! I, I was hoping it was a Florida question. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we. Uh, this is if you wanted to email us, it's contact at newbiestartrek dot. Dude, we missed an opportunity, dude. It should have been first contact at newbiestartrek. No, that's the third see, time you said this, this Ricardo. This is, you've brought. I don't know how have many I? times have you I? brought have this I? up. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm seriously, high, the third I'm, time. I'm really high. Seriously, the third time. She's the third <laughs> time. No way, dude. Really? Yes. Uh, I, I, this isn't a bit. This isn't a bit. This is, <laughs> this is real. Okay, I need to. St- I need to like get keep that in mind. It's never a bit. <laughs> it's just never a bit. Yeah. I don't remember ever bringing because people up. can contact us not just for the first time. That's what's my. It's my. It's been my argument the whole time. Uh, but, but yeah, uh, c- contact at newbiestartrek.com. And also, we do other <laughs> things. We have the Fugitive Frames <laughs> film podcast. We just yeah. reviewed Spider Man no, no Way, Way Home. Home. It was and a discussion, all- more mm-hmm. like. But it, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're all discussions. And yeah, then another yeah. discussion of Matrix Resurrections. Yeah. Uh, they'll, they'll, both of those will be out by the time this podcast is out. Yeah. And, check uh, them out. Yeah, check them out. And then also we have our, our video game channel, LP channel, which we haven't yeah. updated in a hot minute, but I, f- I would like to get back to it. I would Dan and I, we should talk about that. And then, uh, you know, uh, that's, that's uh, fugitive games. Um, if you're if, topically, since the matrix resurrection just came out, we have a whole LP of path of Neo. We wanted to check that out. Ooh. Um, it's, it's very accurate to the movies. Um, there's well, very the first little- three only. Yeah, only the first three. You'll get the full no- story of the of the original trilogy 
with no no, de- no, no deviations. deviations. It's all exactly as as the completely as the, unabridged, straight yeah. from the source. Which has yeah, to be approved. The, the editing is completely normal uh, of the cutscenes that use clips from the movies. They're all completely straight. Oh, uh, it's it's fantastic. Um, Don't there's worry. Defi- there's no confusion whatsoever when, as you're playing the game. Everyone who's supposed to die still does, and it, and it controls really well. And it's does 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 what's the name say? This is loco. <laughs> Mio, this is loco. <laughs> Wait, who you always that? bring that up. You bring that up all the time. Yeah, because I think it's yeah. crazy. Yeah, because yeah. Neo, when it, whenever when Neo in the first Matrix is like, we're gonna go in and save Morpheus. Tank goes, Neo, this is loco, man. Yeah. <laughs> right? Cause, cause the first time I heard it, uh, for some reason, it sparked Pollo Loco, and all I wanted was Pollo Loco. And now, every time I, I, I hear it, I'm like, I mean, Pollo Loco would be pretty good right now. now. Some, now I'm some imagining, fire real chicken. Now I'm imagining Tank is like, Neo, let's settle down. Listen, I'll get yeah. you some Pollo Loco yeah. so we can calm yeah. down. He's and like, look, <laughs> you, you, all you've had is cream of wheat. Let me get you some Pollo Loco. Let's really think about this. You're it turns the one out chicken's, chicken's available. We've just been hiding it from yeah. We yeah. haven't. Yeah, the what is that chicken. thing where, like, the flavor text of someone, you know, like from a Spanish speaking nation is like, like Blue Beetle from Young Justice? Like, no, hermano. Yeah, yeah, you did to do it. Yeah, and you're like, and it's like, okay. yes, yes, we we know that word. You can, yeah. So it's safe to use. <laughs> yeah, for for a, a English speaking white audience, they're like, <laughs> oh yes, Spanish man. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, uh, so yeah, so that that's all our shit. That's at fugitiveframes dot com, and uh, yeah, that's 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 the podcast. Thanks for listening, everybody. Next week we're gonna look at the enemy. Uh, so I think yes. that's another. That's, I think that's another Jordy prime one. directive. I can't take another prime directive. Episode no, I think it's season? another Jordy one. Oof. Oh God! I think Jordy is 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 star of that one again too. If I remember correctly, guys. Here I I propose this. Next week we talk about a different state and, <laughs> and the age of consent in different states. <laughs> yes. Oh no. Good to know. Oh yes. Yeah. That, that's a that'll be a very awkward ongoing <laughs> segment in newbie Star Trek. Actually, <laughs> I think the enemy Within. might be one of the good ones. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I I don't remember it too well. Um, I remember. Are they on a planet? Don't no spoilers. Look, we're gonna yeah, we're yeah, gonna yeah, yeah. that, that episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't worry about it. Yeah, from from what yeah. I remember, I remember liking the the next the upcoming episode a lot. Okay, yeah. which means Ricardo will hate it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, we'll we'll see you guys next time. Everybody, stay safe. Omicron is really bad. So Omicron, Omicron. 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 Every, Omicron. Everybody, stay safe. Be careful. Yes, stay there. safe. Goodbye, es todo. Everybody. Adios, amigos. <laughs> uh, <Bye>. Fuck. <laughs> Uh, I thought we we're doing our catchphrases. I thought that yeah. the Spanish one was your new catchphrase. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> your new Wait, I'm, I'm wrecking my brain trying to translate my catchphrase to Spanish. <laughs> what's, your, what's your catchphrase? Uh, you know the rules, and so do I. Uh, so, Oof. sabes do, los. La uh, ¿Cómo se dice rules? Sabes <laughs> las reglas. Sabes <laughs> las reglas. Ajá. Uh-huh. Y, uh, Yo también. Y sé también. <laughs> yeah. 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 We did dude. it. We did it. We are Mon now. Frere. We're now we're now <laughs> we're now, multi, now we're multicultural. Yeah, it is. Bye, everyone. Fuck. <laughs>